What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Tony Cigar Corner, where today I am smoking the Widow's Son from Battleground Cigars. Unfortunately for you guys, I don't know uh, what the binders, fillers, and wrappers are on this cigar, as I could not find um, it anywhere on their website. So, sorry. Alright, but, uh, so I'm kind of going blind into this today. Um, this Widow Sun Cigar, like I said, it comes from Battleground Cigars, where they actually have a pretty little unique kind of niche going on with their um, uh, Union and Confederate uh, named cigars, and of course the Widow Sun and the Old Powder Keg. So they got a cool little niche with the Civil War type theme going on. You know, they, they um, once they did the Union and the Confederate type cigars, they came out with this actually Masonically themed cigar with Louis Armistead, who is the widow's son. So for you brothers, you guys know what I'm talking about. Now, um, I'm already a little bit into the cigar here, about halfway through the first third. And if right now, you know, the draw is excellent. The light was a piece of cake. Um, Note-wise, strong woodiness and lots of earth. That's uh, really what I'm getting right now. Big, big notes of earth. Uh, The smoke is very smooth, it's thick, the slight sweetness, um, just slightly meaty, but um, mostly as big earth, that sweetness, um, real nice thickness on the palate. So, so far it's been really nice, you know, I'm only halfway into the first third. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit further into this cigar, finish the first third, make my way in into the second third, and I'll be back and let you know what it is that I'm experiencing as I get further in. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, I'm here at about almost the halfway point, and uh, so far, I'm really enjoying the stick. Um, like I said, I've had this cigar in my box for about, probably about a year now, at least. So, um... You know, it's had some time to sit in my box to kind of give itself a little bit of aging going on here. And, um, I mean, you really, I, I, I'm not having difficulty. I'm just really impressed with the flavors, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But the uh, the notes I'm picking up right now, they're they're very woody with a strong meatiness. You know, the smoke is very thick. There's a nice meatiness to it. But there's a, a real subtle chocolatey undertone that I'm really enjoying. Oh, I got a piece of tobacco on my mouth here, but... A real nice uh, chocolatey undertone that's, that's that's very very pleasant. You, you pick it up, you know, it's a subtle undertone, but on the, you also pick it up on the finish. It's very nice uh, on the retro. You use the subtle hints of that chocolatey note. You go and draw again. Uh, yeah, it's just very nice. The meatiness is, is is very pleasant. Also, like I said, it's a thick meatiness. So. Right now, I'm, I'm really enjoying the cigar. The flavors really started to pick up as I started to move further down, closer to the end of the first third. And I, I got into the second third, they really started to pick up. So um, there's not as much of that um, earthiness. The earthiness isn't as strong. There's more of that meatiness that's really coming out right now. So um, burn-wise, I mean, you can't really ask for much better than that. I mean, that that's an absolutely beautiful burn line. The ash barely, it just fell off a little while ago. Right as I got closer to the halfway point, it fell off. So, you know, construction is absolutely beautiful Beautiful with the cigar. I mean, it is, it is very densely packed. Um, overall, right now, I'm really enjoying myself. So I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit further into the cigar, uh, get closer to the band point, and probably even a little bit closer to my stopping point, and then I'll be back and let you know what I've experienced at that point. I'm hoping the flavors only get better as I go on. So we'll see, and I will let you know. I'll see you in just a little bit. Welcome back, everyone. So um, getting pretty close to my stopping point here. And uh, so far, there hasn't been a lot of transitions, really. Well, I guess there's been one. There's been an addition to just this really nice um, just real nice tobacco note that's, that's come into play. It's more on a, more out in the front. It's, you know, it's stronger on the palate than what it was before. You know, um, in the second third, I had those strong, meaty notes, the real woodiness going on. And those notes are still present. They're just not as, as prominent as they were before. Is that just like I said, this nice tobacco note that's come into play, and it's it's more out front on the palate. Uh, that chocolatey note that I was experiencing, you know, it was subtle already, so it's kind of pretty much washed off completely. I just I don't notice it on the retro at all or or on the palate. 
Um, construction wise, the cigar has been absolutely beautiful the whole way through. I mean, it's still razor sharp with a beautiful ash. I mean, it's stacked gorgeously. Construction on this cigar is, is flawless. I'm absolutely loving the construction. The draw has been perfect all the way through. Big clouds of smoke have been have followed up through every draw. So I'm very, very happy with the cigar. Um, I don't really know the price point on the cigar. I know it's kind of high. I think it's like in the $10 stick range, somewhere right around there. Um, you know, that's up to you to decide whether that's a good price point for you or not. Um, you know, for me, I don't really see myself buying, you know, a whole bunch from at, at that price point. Um, would I like to? Yeah, I would love to. I just don't have the funds, to be, you know, buying, uh, you know, a, a, what is it, $200 box of cigars every month. But uh, if I could, I would definitely want to keep um, some of these in stock. Now, I did take a, go on their website and take a look at their boxes. Their boxes are even more amazing. They got some beautiful, beautiful boxes that uh, these cigars come in. Now you can get them either in bundles without the box, which kind of drops the price a little bit for you. And then you have them that come in the box and the price is a little more, a little higher. So that's up to you to decide, you know, whether or not you, you would want to spend that money. For me, I've really enjoyed the notes that come out of this battleground, this, um, this, um, uh, widow sun cigar, um, absolutely pleasing from those beautiful, you know, subtle chocolates to that deep, rich meatiness. Um, that woodiness and that here at the end with the nice tobacco notes that have come in that are very very refreshing on the palate um, like I said the construction was flawless so all in all this has been an excellent cigar for me to smoke today and I, I really appreciate um, you know the fact that Battlegrounds did come out with a Masonically themed cigar I think that's real cool uh, paying homage to all those uh, Civil War vets that actually you know were Masonic brothers so if you are a Masonic brother, you know, go on their website, Battleground Cigars, uh, check out their Widow Sun Cigar. I don't think that you will be disappointed. Uh, like always, thank you very much for coming out, you know, and enjoying this Battleground Widow Sun Cigar with me. Um, like, subscribe, share, um, all those great things. Comment below. Let me know what you think about the, the reviews. And um, I will see you with my next review. God bless to you and your family, and I'll see you all soon.